Hi, motorcycle lovers. Johnny Bikes and Oak is back. Welcome, bienvenue, willkommen to another episode of Bikes and Oak. Today we're testing the spanking new Harley Davidson Pan America 1250cc, powered by an entirely new engine, the Revolution Max, pumping out 150 horsepower. Let's do the walk around. Design element, styling. Some might not like the big truck like headlight. I love it. I mean, you know, these new insect type of headlights you see on, on bikes, not, not my cup of tea. No, I like this one. Like with cars, we talk about the line. Look at this smooth, almost like an S line here. Seat, also for the pillion girlfriend wife can sit here, no problem. Something that I really like about this design, connected to the headlight are these side indicators. What else have we got in the front? Well, there's the crash bar and you see these are the indicators. Blinkers, left and right, looking good. Let's look at the wheels. 19 inch here in the front, big, big buff caliper and Brembo, Brembo brakes, yeah. And uh, the rear, we got 17 inch in the back here, 17 inch. The tail light, the, the important life saving tail light up here, very bright. And of course, in the cluster also, the two side indicators, left and right. All right, and now comes the question, how is it to ride this big dog, new adventure, Pan America? Let's go and find out. All right, so Bikes and Oak, Johnny here on the new Harley Davidson Pan America in Nakona York. First test ride on the main road, here we go. The torque is tremendous. Wow, that's it. This is a big bike. Oh, that's a good smell of a buffalo dung. You see, this is what you get with the bikes. You get the nature, you get all the scents, everything from the agriculture. You get everything. Bikes and Oak Johnny is on the big 1250cc. Pan America, the latest all new Harley Davidson adventure, street and off road with four modes sport, comfort, rain, and off road. By the way, the clutch is so easy. The clutch is so easy. And the throttle also very easy. Good grips. And I got the windscreen here. And in front of me is the 6.7 inch screen with uh, my my speed in kilometer per liter kilometer per liter speed not in miles per hour nice this is a lovely afternoon in Nakhon Nayok province blue skies temperature above 35 36 degrees here we go I'm doing 70 80 well, let me say that this is also like a cruiser. It feels like a cruiser. It feels so good on these long straights. And I'm not going crazy speed. I'm just doing around 70, 80 and it's just perfect. There, you see? I touch the throttle a bit and wow, it goes. It goes like a bat out of hell. Wow, what a bite. I say chapeau, hats off. Congratulations, Harley Davidson. You've done a great job. Your engineers, your designers, great job. Absolutely. For the street, this is just perfect. The twin cylinder Revolution Max under the tank here, just fantastic. Outstanding motor. Like I said, 150 horses on tap. Oh, by the way, the mirrors are great. 
I can see the rider behind here, Yuri is behind me, I can see him. Like I said, 150, 150 horsepower and, uh, and a tremendous amount of torque. Okay, check the mirrors. Like I said, the mirrors are good. Could be maybe slightly bigger, but they're fine. Very good. Now you can feel the torque. I'm going up the hill. Feel the torque now. This is the second gear. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Wow, 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 wow. Here we go. I have to put the bike in the shade now. In the shade. Because Johnny is hot. And the bike is hot right now. Wow, this bike is nimble. It's insanely nimble for the size. 245 kilos. And you don't really feel the weight. You just don't feel the weight. Uh, that's uh, I have to say. No, it, it's, it's so powerful, but it's so sensitive. The controls, the throttle control, throttle by wire, the clutch control, the, the brakes. It really feels like it's it's half of the size, it, even less than that. It's it's so responsive. It just wants to work with you. See how easily I can turn it, how quickly it turns. So easy to make U turns with this. It's really good in corner. Of course, there's the cornering ABS, everything, variable valve timing. You name it. Look at this beauty. Yeah, some people say it looks ugly because of the front. I think it looks very nice. I like it. I like it a lot. I think I like it a little bit too much. Because the problem is, tomorrow we have to give the bike back. And I just don't want to part ways with it. I love it so much. It's amazing. Yeah, when you ride this, when you're riding, your feet get a little bit hot, I have to admit, but you get used to it. Well, at least I get used to it. I got used to it. I'm, I'm used to it already. It doesn't really bother me. But at first, it kind of a, you really notice the heat. Man, this bike is something else. I can so easily grip the, the seat with my knees, so I don't need to really put any pressure on my hands and on the, on the handlebars. So the, it's easy to be pretty much weightless on this bike so the the bike can just move under you and just do its thing every time you switch off the engine it seems to go back to road mode automatically so if you're this kind of dirt roads or off-road don't forget to put it back to to your custom settings or <laughs> off-road mode if you want to travel Thailand on, on a motorbike comfortably, but at the same time not just feel like you're a passenger, but actually feel like you're really riding the bike, this is the bike to get. This is the ultimate travel bike for Thailand. It will take you absolutely anywhere where you want to go. If you're wondering about hardcore off-road, well, it's not readily available here. Thailand just is not, it's, it's not like North America or Spain or Finland or Australia or New Zealand. This kind of dirt roads here and there you can find them but most of the time you're riding on paved roads. And the other thing is that even though this bike is so big it's so nice in traffic I can easily drive this bike in Bangkok traffic no problem. I can lane split with this bike. Think about that I can I can lane split in Bangkok traffic on this bike. This, 245 kilo adventure bike without any problems that's that's something else these are the routes that guys do on dirt bikes here in Thailand and I'm doing this these roads Pan America that's the kind of bike it is you choose where you want to go and you just go Johnny Bikes Anok back on the road we stopped for a while here in Ang Sila. we've been here before the location between uh, Bangkok and Pattaya by the sea 
Let me tell you a few details here. Usually I, you know, you swing your leg like this. Oh, yeah, but you know, I'm not a tall guy. I'm 172 centimeters. So, uh, so how do you get on this massive Harley Pan America? Okay, so instead of swinging your leg, just, you know, like you get on a horse. That's it, put your leg on the peg, but first of all, grab the brake just in case, and then you swing your leg like this. Yeah, not swinging your leg, it's like climbing up, just like you climb up on a horse. See, works very well, because on, it's quite steady on the side stand, which is a little bit too light, but yeah, quite steady. See, pushing the bike now. The wet weight is about 245 kg. And as you can see, I can, because I'm, I'm, I am actually flat foot. And that's what I like. Any bike, I like to be flat foot. There you can see it, you know, flat foot. Yeah. And I can push it ahead. And I can uh, reverse also like this. Can do. Kandula, like they say in Singapore. Kandula. Yep. Right in front here, in front of the handlebar, the 6.8 TFT display with all the pertinent information like uh, phone connectivity, gears, fuel, temperature, everything right there on the screen, everything. And all the buttons are, and switches are perfectly ergonomic within reach using your thumb, just perfect on this side right hand side on the next to the throttle and here on the clutch left side perfect let's look at the fuel tank another uh, design detail another design innovation 21.4 liter aluminium tank and here we can see again high definition no 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 harley davidson hd yeah windscreen for especially street riding because you have a lot of wind coming on here so you need a windscreen and the windscreen can be adjusted here lower mode and then uh, the higher mode conclusion the all new harley davidson pan america 1250 cc revolution max engine pumping out 150 horsepower and 127 newton meter of torque. This all new Harley passes the test ride with flying colors, except for the side stand kickstand, which does not match the overall build quality of this machine, since it's not really user friendly. And the luggage rack, which could be sturdier since it's an adventure bike carrying luggage. All motorcycle lovers, if you like this episode of Bikes Anouk, please like and subscribe and ring the bell. See you again. Safe riding.